what's the connection between laboratory glassware, borax, and the Emperor Tiberius? Well, come with me back a few centuries to ancient Rome, when a craftsman approached the Emperor Tiberius holding a bottle, a glass bottle, and he was about to hand it to the Emperor. The Emperor looked at it, it looks like a nice bottle, and the craftsman all of a sudden dropped the bottle. And to everyone's shock, it did not shatter. Roman glass was known to be very, very breakable. What was going on here? The emperor wanted to know. Well, it seems a craftsman had made an interesting discovery. Glass, which was known long before ancient Romans uh, ever made it, is made with sand and some natron, that sodium carbonate and, and limestone. Mix it together, heat it up, and you get uh, glass. Well, what this craftsman may have discovered that if you put in a little bit of borax, and borax was available, it occurs naturally, it's called sodium borate, and in Tuscany you can, you can find it. They used to use it as a flux for gold. Gold melts more easily when you mix it with borax, so it is very possible that this craftsman just mixed it in to his glass mixture and came up with what we today know as borosilicate glass. Of course, he didn't know that the boron had fused together the other uh, atoms in there and made this glass unbreakable. So that's how it all started. And what's the connection to borax? Well, sodium borate today is sourced mostly from Nevada. There are large deposits there. And why the 20 mule team? Because it took 20 mules to draw the giant carriages that were loaded with borax in the 1800s out in order to be able to use the, the borax. Today, the laboratory glassware that we use is made of the same kind of borosilicate glass that was discovered accidentally in ancient Rome. But today, of course, we know how to make it scientifically, and we know how to use it properly in the laboratory for our laboratory glassware. Hmm. And what happened to the craftsman? Well, he refused to divulge the secret to the emperor, and unfortunately, he was put to death.